All right, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, the Y axis on. I'll be able to go ahead and put the ball screw uh, up inside of it once we get the uh, the slide on it. So I'm going to do that first, and just like before, I'm going to lay down some oil. circle goes to the back all right put one adjustment uh, screw in Go ahead and uh, slide the gib in. Second one in. Got a smaller screwdriver here. Once this is all together, we'll go ahead and throw some indicators on it and uh, put some pressure on it, see if we get any deflection, and then just fin finalize uh, tightening those up. All right, now we'll go ahead and put the ball screw in. Now I've gone ahead and taken the uh, grease zerk out of the top of the ball nut and put our 90 degree uh, fitting in there. Now in order to get this thing in, we're going to go in through the bottom and this is going to fit into the recess in the back of the way. You'll notice that the uh, motor housing, or I should motor mount is off. Uh, there's a washer that goes on after the final bearing and that washer has to be put with the bevel side in towards the bearing to preload the bearing at the, uh, at the final assembly. So let me go ahead and get this. We've got our cap screw. It's going to go in here. And let's see if I can't do this here.
now that that's in there I've got the screw holding the ball nut to the, to the apron uh, kind of loose and uh, what we have to do is now put the uh, motor mount on this is the first bearing this will go inside this We've got to put the second bearing in. Now these bearings have have different sides because I believe they're axial load bearings. So that means that they have to be kind of preloaded, which is why this washer, which is kind of concave, has to go in a specific way with the concave portion going in towards the uh, the inner race to load the bearing up and then we've got to screw this coupler back on again so I'm going to get that started it's going to be a little tricky so I've got this uh, this will come all the way out I'm just going to get a pair of pliers on a rag here just to hold the ball screw from turning as we kind of work our way around all the way in. I don't want to mar this up. That's enough preload, so what we'll do is Tighten down. It's just a split, uh, kind of a split nut configuration. So we're just gonna tighten down on it. There we go. All right. I'm gonna loosen up on this just a bit. What I want to do next is bring this all the way in. Just a little bit loose. Torque 
down on this one. installed. Now I just have to go ahead and make a, uh, a piece of three stock to clamp in there so that I can run this back and forth with the drill. And we want to go ahead and run our tubing uh, down the column and underneath the base to get to our, uh, our oiling point for both the Z and the Y here. And then we'll get started on the X.